G'day YouTubers, welcome to Wolford's PC World and Lake Side Cottage in Lock Sport. Now, as I said before, um, I'm going to do a quick demonstration of basically installing um, a hard drive into external cover, you know, external enclosure for um, hard drive. Now, this is the 3.0 USB 3.0 external one from S2. Quite good actually. So, all you're going to need is basically a screwdriver. I'll use my um, Kingston one. Right. Okay, screw, screwdriver. This will take. Open this up first. Then we'll pull everything out, and we'll go from there. And pretty easy to do this. <coughs> I have done it on box there before. <coughs> it comes with the um, USB three lead, so it basically plugs into a USB three socket and plugs into the device itself. And also, here we go. Comes with a little power power brick. Um, I don't know about you, but I don't know why they wrapped it. They needed to wrap that in plastic after putting the cardboard. Okay, so that's uh, I'm trying to figure stuff like that. But five of the items, not that great. Comes with a user manual. Now the user manual basically just gives you the instructions of actually how to move this out the way. Um, the user manual gives you basically instructions of how to install it, install a hard drive into into the device itself. But I'm going to show you about the user manual. Well, I've got two of these installed: one for USB 2 and USB 3. Never throw away the box because if you travel and you want to say take this with you, all you do is you grab that and you got that back into there. And you put that back in the box and it's pretty much hundred percent safe. That way there you're not gonna get damaged or anything like that. Yeah, these will just pop off these sides. Like that. And you get some screws into here. Which is taped down. Yep. Tip all them out. Don't throw away that bag because you can still use those type of bags or something. Don't like to waste stuff like that. Now, next you're going to need a hard drive. I've chosen Western Digital 1 terabyte drives. Because all my internal drives are eventually going to be um, all Western Digital 2 terabyte drives. So, what you do is you pop that into place. And you'll see it lining up. You can see it here, lining up into here. That one is lined up, and all you do is just push. Oh, push. So that's in place. Next thing, keep one hand on the back here. You've got these screws, silver screws, and you just drop them. Basically, you just put them into place and do them up. If you'll let me. Come up. Like sometimes I make it look like it just, you just drop them in, yeah. And it's so easy, and then the other times you go. Someone unreasonably just struggle no matter how hard you try to do it, you just keep struggling. And they always seem to give you one extra screw for some good reason. The silver ones. Not complaining, they'll just go into a screw screw box. So that those four screws are in. That looks okay to me. Now cover over. 
There you do, same, same principle basically, just drop four screws into here. From um, PC case gear, just to keep to keep um, a hard drive pretty much how you, how you want it external and portable. It's a pretty good price. If you keep whatever you need to keep on them now, and if you need to work on other people's computers, you got the right you got the right software on this program on the hard or right programs, I should say. Excuse me, all the programs you need that are on say on this on the hard drive. All you do is take your hard drive, drop it in the box, go see the person you need to see, fix up their computer, and a bombshell can finish your own, and you've got this take it back again. And they give me an extra black screw too, well, two extra black screws. That's interesting. Come on. Give me another one, guys. Sometimes the mesh doesn't line up 100%, but for the price, I'm not complaining. They work quite well, they don't get warm, which I found quite interesting. The air, even if you're in a warm environment, you can just have a little fan blowing air, because these, these filters keep all the dust out, but allow air in. Which I find very interesting. Very good, actually, because you don't have to stress too much about the dust getting into into the hard drive, um, even heat wise, temperature wise. Uh, everything works well. I'm not 100% happy with that, but it will do the job. This one's just got extra movies and stuff like that. I mean, a friend of mine gave me. Now let's line this up and do these last four and then that's really about it. The thing about these, if you don't want to use them, you don't have to have them on. You can just turn them off. And that's one thing I like about this because you get the on off button here. So if you don't want to use it, you leave it off. When you want it on, you use it, that's it. So this one plugs into here. And, uh, excuse the cold. And that one there, just plugs into that. There we go. So, when you need to use it, you can just turn it on. When you don't need to use it, turn it off and you save a bit on power. It's giving me two, two black screws and a, and a silver screw extra. Well, thank you very much for watching. This is the Wolf for 007 signing off. You all have a nice day.